Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about Access. In the previous screencast in this series, we started Access and we worked with the Earthwind sample database that is a template provided by Microsoft along with these other templates. We simply clicked the Northwind Starter Edition icon, create a new copy of the Northwind database from which we can learn a lot. Now, when you start a new access database, you must give it a name before you can save any data to it. This is unlike the other Microsoft applications where you can give it a specific name of your choice after you've already worked in the application. But access must save the file to your local computer before you can start working in it. So I started this Northwind Starter Edition template twice, which gave me database one and then database two. So Microsoft just continues to name these databases as database with a consecutive number. Well, that's not very descriptive, is it? So if we point to that database and we decide to rename it or move it, we need to know where it's at. And the little pop-up is telling me that it's on my C drive in the users folder, the Lisa subfolder, the document subfolder, and that's where I can find database2.accdb. So I'm gonna go into Windows Explorer here and find that database and move it and rename it to a place that's convenient for me. I have to dig into my C drive, dig into my users folder, my Lisa folder, my documents folder. And there it is, database one I created on May 9th and then database two, which I created on May 13th. I don't need two copies of the same database. This is just the sample Northwind database that I created. I'm going to right-click database one and delete it, and right-click database two and cut it. I'm going to put it in a convenient place for me, which is on my desktop. Right-click paste, and now right-click rename. And this is actually the Northwind database. Now I've got a handy icon for my Northwind database here on my desktop instead of going through access. So that's how you find and move and rename a database to a place that's convenient for you. You have to start access, then hover over the database that you want to open, find out the path to that file, then use your Windows Explorer, find, move, or rename that database. Thank you.